forging IT security experts. Secure Ninja. Hey everyone, I'm Alicia Webb with Secure Ninja TV. Now, I know many of you know all about our most favorite American patriot hacktivist known as the Jester. Now, unfortunately, we'll never get to meet the Jester in person, but right now, you can spend some quality time with one of his most trusted companions. Not me, his laptop. That's right, the Jester's previous laptop is on display at the International Spy Museum in Washington, D.C. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't make the trip to D.C. myself as I'm currently out of the country. But Secure Ninja TV's producer, John Miller, spoke with International Spy Museum's Jason Worden about this interesting and infamous artifact. So here we're in the International Spy Museum. We are in the gallery known as the Weapons of Mass Disruption. It takes a look at what would happen in the event of a large-scale cyber attack on our infrastructure. What we have here is an extension of our newest exhibition celebrating the 50th anniversary of the James Bond film franchise. It's called Explicitly Evil 50 Years of Bond Villains. The latest film, Skyfall, the villain Javier Bardem's character Raul Silva, his weapon of choice is the computer through cyber terrorism. But it's more than just what we see in the films. It's also things that happen in real life. Here to the left of the movie prop, we have the real life laptop of the hacktivist known as the Jester. He is a bit of a white hat in that community, as you know, and has successfully used just the strokes of a few keys to take down a number of opposing sites, sites like WikiLeaks and a number of jihadist activist websites. And the laptop we have here is what he used between 2010 and 2013 to commit those hacks. So the International Spy Museum, as you know, is the largest public display of espionage artifacts in the world. And we really do tell that complete history of espionage, dating back to the early days of its mention in the Bible through today. So we really want to continue to tell that complete story, and part of that is the cyber, the cyber threat of today. With that comes this laptop from the Jester. It is a part of there's an evolving history of cyber espionage, and where better than to display that than here. Obtaining the laptop was not a walk in the park. It was a complex process. He, of course, the jester, is very much keen in maintaining his anonymity. So he worked through a third party who was a contact on our end, Dave Marcus, who is with McAfee Security, to let us know that he was interested in having this laptop on display. Through uh, ongoing communication over social media, we found out that we were able to obtain this laptop through that third party and could include it in our ongoing exhibition. We worked out an agreement with him for a five-year loan where we could have this with us for the next five years. And it really adds to that complete collection of espionage in the 21st century. So in the evolution of the cyber community, there are, of course, offense and defensive attacks. And for many years, it was us on the defensive, and the United States on the defensive attack, waiting until something were to happen. What the Jester continues to do with the evolution of cyber espionage is to be on the offensive, to be on the red team, if you will, and take his ability to take down an opposing site first, rather than waiting to be attacked. The Jester is very influential in the social community and is very big in Twitter. Whenever he takes down a site, he gets on Twitter and he sends out a message to all of his followers. That message is Tango Down. He uses that military style terminology to reach his targets and let them know that he has completed his mission. If you want to learn more about this laptop in particular and everything we have here, certainly go to our website, spymuseum.org, where you can see this entire collection at your disposal. Though, of course, we'd love for you to come visit us here in Washington, D.C. next time you're in town. The museum looks amazing, doesn't it? I will definitely have to visit next time I'm in D.C. So now I know many of you are probably still scratching your heads and saying, 
But Secure Ninja TV, where is the interview with the jester you've been promising since last fall? Well, let's just say the jester has been very busy over the past year with other engagements, but we do still hope to make the interview happen. And when it does, the very best way to find out about it is through our social media channels. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, um, connect on LinkedIn, and you can even add us on Google+. So thanks so much for watching this special episode of Secure Ninja TV. I'm Alicia Webb, and I look forward to seeing you in the future. Secure Ninja Shorts are brought to you by SecureNinja.com, a world leader in information security and IT training and certification. Our master instructors will help build you into a highly skilled and marketable security professional. SecureNinja.com, forging IT security experts.